Hello children, welcome to EVS class. All of you open your EVS book awareness skill book, page number 23. Page number 23. Today we are going to uh, see about the animals living in and around water. Some animals which are living in the water and some which are living around the water. Those animals we are going to see today. The first one is hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. It is, we can say it as hippo also. Okay. Hippos are large semi-aquatic mammals with a large barrel shaped body, short legs, a short tail and a large head. They have greyish to muddy brown skin. They are considered the second largest land animal on the earth. These are the second largest land animals on the earth. Okay. Next is turtle. Turtle. They have a hard shell that protect them like a shield. Many turtle species can hide their heads inside their shell when attacked by predators. See when any an animal attack them, they hide their head inside the shell. It will go inside the shell like back it will go and the animal cannot eat this shell because it is very hard. Okay, next. Which animal is this children? F-R-O-G. This is a frog. I hope you have seen many everywhere it is found. Okay, this is a frog. They are amphibians. Amphibians means they live in both land and in water. Amphibians. A group of frog is called an army. When there are many frogs, they, it is called army. They lay eggs. You know children, frogs don't drink water. Okay. They soak it into their body through their skin. They need to live near water as their skin must constantly be moist. The skin should be always moist. So for that purpose they are living near the water. If it dries out the frog dies. When the skin is dry, when water is not there and the skin becomes dry at that time the frog dies. Okay. Next. Whale. Whale lives in water but they breathe air like us. They breathe air. They come up from the water and they breathe. Uh, when, they, when, they, when they will come, uh, breathe, they will come up and they will breathe. They are the largest animal. They, they are very fast swimmers. They are very fast in swimming. Okay, And each whale has a unique tail. Each whale has a unique tail. Now next. Last one is alligator. This is, a, this is an alligator. Alligator have U-shaped faces that are wide and short. Okay. They generally live in fresh waters, lakes and they are good predators. They have sharp teeth. They, are, they have the strongest bite of any animal in the world. And they eat uh, frog, fish, turtle, snake, mammals and they grow more than 14 feet. They grow more than 14 feet and they are the largest reptiles. They are the largest reptiles. Okay. I hope you understood about these animals. Okay. After this, turn the page. Nice activity they have given. This is a sticker activity. Sticker activity. Sort and paste the stickers of the animals in the right columns. See three columns they have given. The first one is animals living on tree. For in green color they have given animals living on the trees. Blue color animals living in very hot regions. And the third one is animals living in very cold regions. Trees, hot regions, cold regions. So, where are the stickers now? You want to stick the stickers here. But where are the stickers? It is on the last page. Go to the last page, children. Here. Yes, here are the stickers. Nicely you must stick. You must see and remove properly and then you have to stick. Okay. Here, see, page number 24 they have given. First picture is of snake. You have to find out where is the outline of the snake. Can you find where is the outline of the snake children? Yes. 
here it is rattlesnake so you have to remove the sticker of the snake that is rattlesnake remove it and stick it on the outline here okay properly one by one you have to see the outline and you are going to stick it according to their habitat that is living on trees hot regions and cold regions this activity you are going to complete it today children okay thank you